Welcome to the School of Wordcraft and Wordmancy. This is Feedback Frenzy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Writer Greg's School of Worldcraft and Wordmancy. It is time for another Submit Saturday article review. If you would like to have your content reviewed, please submit either 1,500 words of feedback or a world-building uh, world building article at wgc.bz slash submit. And we can uh, do a critique, like we are doing a critique here for uh, Moonflower Writer in a new article. Ship logs of the HWCS Excalibur. Okay, so let's, let's do it. Okay, pretty straightforward. Got a USB drive. Got some here. Okay. And this is for World Builder Summer Camp. Um, a travel log or other document associated with discovery. All right, so let's zoom in all the way. The ship logs of the HWCS. I don't Excalibur. know what I'm doing. Better start writing anyway. Okay. Are the digital documents which serve as its captain log, manifest, bills of lading, and route plans. These logs are manually updated every 15 hours by the captain or captain's assistant should the captain not be capable for any reason. It is considered a criminal offense to purposely falsify the ship logs of any cargo ship. Ship logs are written in a digital text-based format and stored on a specialized drive which only contains ship records. This drive is small and easily removable to streamline the interstellar customs process. Should the drive be lost or destroyed, the ship is in question is legally obligated to report to the nearest interstellar customs agency. Hmm. It's interesting. Interstellar customs agency. Uh, lo did they only get one? That's interesting. You know, they don't have backup drives or something like that. The purpose of the ship logs are to ensure proper handling of the ship's supplies and cargo. The frequent updating of these records ensures legal protection should cargo become missing or damaged in transit. Okay. Ship logs maintain the privacy of their customers by remaining unpublished to the general public. Specific bills of lading or route plans may be released to the public should a lawsuit require the information to be public but are otherwise but are otherwise highly private documents. Okay, uh I just uh, it is one it is talking about one thing, but it just feels it feels long. Full ship logs are almost never released. The only instance of a full publication of any ship log was after the accidental destruction of the LWCS Liberation in 2006 SE. So this is not the black box. I just wonder because the accidental destruction of this libertarian didn't destroy the drive. I'm just wondering if there is a black box similar component. The ship logs of the HWCS Excalibur are regis registered to the Maypole Company, which in turn is under the jurisdiction of Paradisium Law. They abide by the rulings of the inter of the Intergalactic Community Association as well, which allows the ship to use the intergalactic highways maintained by the association. How do you have a highway in space? I guess it would just be a series of beacons or something like that, but the shipping lanes are lanes through space that are commonly traveled to 
They're generally patrolled. No, something like that. All right, this is, yeah, straightforward to the point. Um, I just wonder if the picture of this USB drive is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Uh, unless they're really, I mean, USB drives can hold so much text information. Uh, but then you have... Yeah, they, they could only be as big as a USB drive. The question I have, or I guess the thing I'd like to know more of, okay, awesome. What were awesome? What was awesome? Uh, I, I enjoyed reading the article, but nothing jumps out to me as being awesome. Was I bored? Not really. The is just straightforward clear to be understood. A, B, C. Confused. Was I confused anywhere? Yeah, the having the ship drive here being pictured as a USB drive, personally, when I think of a use, user, USB drive in, like this, I'm not thinking permanent communication information. I'm thinking more of transporting information between two locations. So, you could definitely have a USB drive. I mean, if you have the nice big, you know, protected black box that has everything in it, and then you just walk in, push a button, and it spits out a USB drive, and then reseal it back up, and that's what you hand over to the customs people, or you unlock a safety thing and then you put the USB drive in there and it makes a copy for delivery to the uh, the, whom, the whomever needs the Maypole company, whoever needs it yeah uh, delete I wouldn't delete anything uh, I really do I do like the use of headers here um because here we have a H1 with two H under, two H unders, uh, two H, two headers underneath. And so, but what's interesting here is, yes, you do not need a header before the introductory paragraph, as we have in this. And then, then you have a H, H2 header. What happened to the H1? Where is it? Okay, so you're talking about purpose. I would actually make that a H1. So that way your your topmost header in a document should be H1. It, because it is literally first header. And then I really like how here you have publication status and legal status. That is at the right level at the two. And each of those then redefines or expounds upon the document structure. So yeah, I think this is, uh, I'd just probably make that purpose a header one. So to confuse the, the hierarchy, hierarchy, the hierarchy of the content within this. All right. So thank you so much, Moonflower Writer, for sharing this article, uh, uh, quick and to the point article that is being submitted to World Anvil Summer Camp 2022. I appreciate it very much. I hope that if you enjoyed this critique, that you would be willing to submit your own content at wgc.bz slash submit, where we review fiction content and creative world-building articles uh, each Saturday. So thank you so much. Have a good one. And until next time, keep on working. Thanks for watching this Feedback Frenzy. Be sure to show your support by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Writer Greg offers coaching sessions to help bring your world to life, create compelling stories, and accomplish your creative goals. 
please visit wgc.bz coaching for more details.